There's a wealth of learning and entertainment material available for computers in the home, but also plenty of programs and websites parents want to keep their children away from. Our efforts to keep our children safe online have been compounded by the fact that the notion of the family computer has become outdated for many, with more and more households having more than one PC or laptop and children using their computers in the living room, study, bedroom and at school. But you don't have to constantly peek over your children's shoulders to make sure they're not accessing inappropriate content. In Windows, you can set limits on your kids' computer use, so you can be safe in the knowledge that your children are using safe websites and applications and at the specific times you allow. This is done using Windows Parental Controls feature, which has settings to allow you to set time limits on a specific user's computer use, approve the games they play, and determine which applications they can use. You can access parental controls via the control panel. You'll need a password protected administrator account for you, the parent, and a standard account for each child. Then, open parental controls via user accounts and family safety, select your child's account, and turn on parental controls. Here you can select time limits, game ratings and program limits. It's easy to turn parental controls on and off, but only the person with the administrator account for the laptop will be able to do so. In time limits, for example, Windows Intuitive Interface allows you to select the times your child can't use the computer and also set different times for each day. You can also block certain websites and get activity reports on your child's computer usage. Open parental controls Select Windows Live Family Safety, which is a free download for Windows 7. Under Additional Controls, sign in with a Windows Live ID, which is free to set up, and click the account you want to monitor. By default, basic web filtering and activity reports are turned on. You can also go to the Family Safety website to customise monitoring for each child. Windows Live Safety also has settings to allow you to set up activity reports and block certain websites. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to block PC Advisor, but it is, of course, completely safe to use. Type in the web address and then determine who shouldn't be allowed access to the site. When your child tries to access the site, they'll get this alert, as well as the opportunity to request that the website is unblocked. As you can see, all of these steps are straightforward to implement and you can be up and running in just a couple of minutes. We've used a Windows 7 laptop to demonstrate the features here, but directions for setting up parental controls in Windows Vista and the recently released Windows 8 are similar. More details are available on Microsoft's website.